Regal Pale, one of America's two great beers. Regal Pale presents another great television show with Regal's happy royal Hawaiian family, plus tonight's special guest, lovely Pahana, and starring the musical ambassador of Polynesia, Harry Owens and his royal Hawaiian. the old chants of old Hawaii. So from the Hawaiian Islands, land of summertime eternal, the trade winds send out a hearty invitation clear across the blue Pacific to you. He has written a haunting melody entitled On Kona Kai. It's a tune that's made sort of for dreaming. So sit back, won't you, and relax, and let tropic trade winds take possession of your spirit. Oh, 
adopted nephew, Jack Knarr. The news is spreading from the Potomac to the Pacific. You see, the Rove and Regal bird breezed into the nation's capital in a surprise move to prove that Regal Pale is one of America's two great beers. And the Regal Zulp were positively regal markable. Hundreds of beer-wise Washingtonians tasted Regal Pale for the first time in mass tests, and they compared Regal with their own favorite Eastern beer. And three out of five say they like Regal Pale just as well, or even better, than their own favorite Eastern beers. Now, just imagine folks in Washington agreeing on anything. But it's the truth. Demo-Regalcrats and Regal publicans have joined forces in supporting beer flavor that is light, mellowed and mild to the taste. Now, of course, you know that in Washington, six copies is required of everything. So, that makes a Regal six-pack just right. Six cool and quenchy cans of the same smooth beer that hasn't changed in three generations of brewmasters. It is always light so that it never fills you up. And it is mellowed through perfect aging. And it is mild, mild to the taste, never bitter, and never harsh. So, join the National Regal Party and be a party regular with light, mellowed, and mild Regal Pale. One of America's two great beers.
Every land has its festival song, its toasting song, its drinking song. Hawaii has many of these in every category, the most familiar of which is Okoli Maluna, and that means bottoms up. Prince Kawohi and my adopted daughter, Hilo Hattie. I got hooked at the Hukilau on the beach the other day. The Hukilau mate was quite sedate in the Polynesian way. I got cow cow and a call a how and the jug went round and round. The net was full and I gave a pull and this is what I found. I saw Ke Ahi and the Mahi Mahi and the big fat Tutu A. Then I spied by the ocean side a cute Wahine in the flower lane. She looked at me and I looked at her. Yeah. And now I realize yeah. that I got hooked at a Hooky Lau. I'm and the Hooky Lau was me. I got hooked at a Hooky Lau on the beach the other day. My hooky low mate was quite sedate in a Polynesian way. Good cow cow and a cole how the jug went round and round. The neck was full and I gave a pull, and this is what I found. A couple of squids and the neighbor's kids, a boy dog and a cat. And then I spied on the ocean side a handsome con in a coconut hat. He looked at me and I looked at him. I'm not the same, for I got hooked at a hooky low, and the hooky low was to blame. I looked at her, and I looked at him, we'll and I was the same, for we got hooked at a hooky low, and the hooky low was to blame. Hooky, 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 flower in Apua assists her favorite daughter-in-law, Pahana, in an ancient ceremonial ritual chant very dear to the Hawaiian heart. Kalaka, 
Right now, my favorite adopted nephew, Jack Nars, has some mighty interesting items to relate concerning my favorite beer, Regal Pale. Well, sir, there is no doubt about it. Washington, D.C. agrees Regal Pale is one of America's two great beers. In hundreds of tests, three out of five Washingtonians say they like Regal Pale as well or even better than their own favorite Eastern beer. Yes, sir, here in the city of fancy functions, dandy diplomatic dues and swank society shindigs, Regal Pale is the new pleasure of every party. And in cheery beery cherry trees, Washington bird watchers are so busy watching the Regal Bird that all the other birds have gone south again for the summer. And famous Washington columnist Brew McPherson has this to say. Regal Act. Regal fresh yourself. Are you drinking Regal Pale? And the answer is yes. In every pub in the nation's hub, Demo-Regalcrats and Regal Publicans are filibustering for the flavor that is light, mellowed, and mild. And that is Regal. Light so that it never fills you up. Mellowed through perfect aging. And mild, mild to the taste. Never bitter and never harsh. And Regal is low in calories, too. As a matter of fact, a Dixie Regal Kratz are reminding the Deep South that a 12-ounce bottle of Regal has no more calories than a... a Florida grapefruit. So why don't you try Regal Pale, too? Join the National Regal Party and be a party regular with a beer flavor that is light, mellowed, and mild to the taste. One moment, please. Regal Pale has been known for years as one of America's two great beers. Here is an example of how East meets West at the crossroads of the world here in our happy Hawaii. Here is an example of the old blending with the new, another of the ancient chants that goes clear back to Kamehameha's day and a bit of modern swing, Polynesian style. Come on, Oh, my 
It's been another very, very pleasant evening for me. Have you had any fun? Oh, yes, Papa San. I always enjoy the old songs of old Hawaii, especially the many spirited ones we sang tonight. What about next week? Well, next week, Hattie, in addition to all of our happy Royal Hawaiian family, I've asked your good little friend, Heilani Alama, to be our special guest. Ah, Maika Inui Loa. Fine, Papa San. Good, Hattie. And so then, until next week, same time, same station, aloha, yorana, good night. Yorana, and may you live. Regal Pale, one of America's two great beers, has presented another great television show. You've been relaxing with the musical ambassador of Polynesia, Harry Owens, and his Royal Hawaiian. The 
directed by Dan Gingo. Produced by Harry Owen. This is Jack Nair speaking for Regal Pale, product of the Regal Pale Brewing Company, San Francisco. The Harry Owen Show has been selected for viewing by America's Armed Forces Overseas. of Polynesia, Harry Owen, and his Royal Hawaiian. In Book of Life, it is written, there's a land of many rainbows. There's an isle across the sea where trade winds play like violins, a lovely melody. Where natives sing the whole day through beneath a banyan tree and strum guitars beneath the stars. And fun is all for free. There's a land of many rainbows. It was made for you and me. Yes, long ago I read this for the first time, and I journeyed here to these islands to find out for myself could all of this be true, and it was. Come with us again tonight to our gay, happy, carefree Polynesia. <laughs>
life tells us that they met in a garden in Tahiti, in a tiny town on the shores of the Polynesian Sea. And her eyes sparkled like the stars that shine down there, stars that seem to rest on the mountaintops at night. Yes, they met in a garden in Tahiti, then they parted when the summertime was gone. It's the Polynesian story of a moon in all its glory, and then the tears that followed with the dawn. In a garden in Tahiti, there were stars above and love shining through. For you gave me your heart that night in Tahiti, and the cares of the Come back to Tahiti and you in a garden in Tahiti. Are you waiting as you promised to do? Or do I give in vain my tender? Let me come back to Tahiti and you. Let me come back to Tahiti and you. There's a picture of you on the outside of this magazine. What is this, Hattie? It's TV This Week. Well, this Week, huh? Yes. Gee. And then inside, there's a very nice story about you, well, too. Awfully nice of you to bring this to people's attention, Hattie. And sort of as a mutual admiration society, I just happen to be reading a letter, and it's from the Loyal Order of Moose. And it, it has a very nice certificate, Hattie, acknowledging a great service that you did for them. Oh, thank you. It says you. here that Hilo Hattie contributed her wonderful services, which helped build one of the Moose homes, oh, which cares for orphans. In Moose was, Heart, In Moose yes. Heart, huh? So take that with you, will oh, you, Hattie? I appreciate I'll save your letter. And will you go over, you. go over and join Napua, okay. will you? And maybe you'll give us all a little lesson in, in, in how to make this wonderful basic commodity of the islands called poi. Oh, I need it, Mr. Boy. A big old... 
favorite nephew, Jack Knob. A book of verses underneath the bough. A loaf of bread, some regal bach, and thou beside me singing in the wilderness. <laughs> ah, wilderness were paradise and how. Now, no doubt you recognize the sudsy song of the Bocking Bird, who, who sings of the tender splendor of regal Bach beer. But you will also note that the bird is on the wing. So, if you want to have yourself a springtime fling with the finest, foamiest Bach beer of the year, now is the time. Whether you're under a bough, beside a brook, or bock in your own bock yard. <laughs> These lazy, luscious suds are a treat for your tired old tonsils. Yeah, just drink in this deep, rich flavor that's full of zest and zing. Ah, and taste that thick, creamy head of foam, and you'll know you have got the real bock for sure. Regal bock. So for fun and frolic, ask for rollicking regal bock at your tavern or store made by the brewers of Regal Pale, one of America's two great beers. I, uh, I forgot to tell you, I forgot to tell you that Regal Bach is disappearing fast. E yeah. So if you want to get your share while the supply lasts, here's the secret word. Last night, I listened to the raindrops. I heard the melody they played. A song very tender, saying surrender. Lovely little Maui mate. Last night, I lay upon my pillow and dreamed of all the plants I'd made. A little grass polly up on the polly. Lovely little Maui mate. Then when my dream had ended, early in the morning light, Remember the tune you learned last night, so let me sing my Maui love song. My play, divine serenade, and promise we'll ever sing it together. Lovely little Maui maid, aloha, lovely, lovely little Maui maid. Oh, 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 oh. Tonight we welcome back Miss Hawaii. Lovely Delphin Poaha. Twilight descending is ending another lazy day. Moonbeams appearing are clearing. The tropic clouds away The stars are hanging lanterns in the sky It's time to sing a lover's lullaby My sweet Huapala, it's a new rendezvous beside for you and me, Huapala. I will place a rose in your hair while the silvery moonlight touches and the 
stars alone will be there to share in our ecstasy. By this moon, its lagoon, our love will be reality to Apollo. I will place a rose in your hair while silvery moonlight touches the sea. And the stars alone will be there to share in our ecstasy. By this moon, kissed lagoon, our love will be reality Who Apollo Who Apollo Who Apollo Well, Finco, uh, um, you'll be back in just a few minutes now. Meanwhile, back to the drums and gourds of old Hawaii. Eddie, what do you say we start everything out with steel guitar? Okay. Bye. 
I hope that you're relaxing now with a glass of my favorite beer. But if you're not, better listen to Jack Nars. You know, I've tasted a lot of different kinds of beer in my time, hither and yon and even thither. And I found that not only is there a difference in the way beers taste, but there's also a difference in the way they feel when they go down. Now, for instance, some beers you swallow feel sort of like this. <laughs> Heavy. And again, there are some beers that feel kind of like this. Too filling. But what happens when you swallow Regal Pale? Ah, light as a lark, mellow as a cello, and mild as the merry month of May. Yes, sir, Regal Pale is brewed light, mellowed, and mild. Regal's never heavy or filling, no matter how many glasses you drink, because it's a light, bright-hearted beer. And this smooth, regal flavor is mellowed by perfect aging so that it's never bitter or harsh. It's always mild to the taste. So if you have been trying different beers, hither and thither and yon and so on, next time you ask for a regal pale and enjoy the fun and flavor of one of America's two great beer. Night and you and blue Hawaii. The night is heavenly and you are heaven to me. Lovely you and Blue Hawaii With all this loveliness There should be love Come with me While the moon is on the sea The night is young And so I we Come true in blue Hawaii, and mine could all come true this magic night of night with you.
by Dan Ginko. Produced by Harry Owen. This is Jack Nair speaking for Regal Pale, a product of the Regal Pale Brewing Company, San Francisco. The Harry Owen Show has been selected for viewing by America's Armed Forces Overseas. <laughs> <laughs> 